given today. How many of you are aware of how things are done in the SCA? Things. If you put the king and the queen, if you provide the king and queen with something that is of value. Like Andrew. No. I said value. Um, if you provide them with something of value, they only have two options that they can do with it. One is that they can give it to someone else. Or it goes into storage. Forever. And ever. And ever. I am not kidding. Somewhere there is a warehouse with stuff that the mid-realm king and queen have received for 45, 48, 50 years, and they can't get rid of it. Now, in that warehouse is an ornate chest. And in that chest are 100 <laughs> silver coins and a very bizarre note that really made no sense. Nobody understood what this note meant. But my tale was not about a treasure chest full of coins. My tale is about how small things can have great outcomes. Many years ago, in a Pensac War numbered in single digits, there was a young man, a friend of mine, named John Malkin. <clears throat> John Malkin is, suffers from an affirmative. By the way, I'm completely serious here. In that he has one leg that is approximately six inches shorter than the other. As a consequence of this, John, being a heavy fighter, was part of the Midrealm army and was marching down the, to, to meet the battle, one of the woods battles in one of these early pensions. And he could not keep up with the rest of the army. And so as he marched, the Midrealm army progressively got farther ahead. And rather than chase these guys down, he decided with the friend, the hell with it, I'm going to stop right here. He's at a crossroads. He decides to stop here and wait to see what comes down the crossroads. So he's sitting there with his friend, seeing what comes down the road. And something very interesting comes down the road. The Eastern Army. <laughs> John has a problem. What is he to do when faced with the entire Eastern Army? He has a brilliant idea. He walks to the middle of the crossroads, boldly stands up, and goes, Stop! <laughs> then the most amazing thing happens. They stop. <laughs> and a young knight comes marching up to the front to see what's going on. He's a vanguard of the Eastern Army. He's the head of the vanguard of the Eastern Army. And he goes, and I quote, who the hell are you? <laughs> my good lord, my good sir. You and your party are traveling on the Midrealm toll road. <laughs> I am the toll keeper. I am afraid that you and each member of your party owe a toll to the king of the Midrealm. And I am not allowed, by virtue of my station as the toll keeper for the Midrealm toll, to allow you and your party to pass until each and every member of your party has paid a toll to the crown of the Middle Kingdom. The young knight doesn't know what to say. <laughs> Therefore, he does what any young aspiring bureaucrat wants to do with the position. He decides to go past the buck. And he marches back to the king of the east. Your majesty, the king looks at him and says, dude, what seems to be the holdup? Oh, your majesty, there's a guy on the road, and he says this is the Midrealm toll road, and he's the toll collector, and, and he, we gotta collect the toll, and we don't have enough change, can't, what, what should I do? And the king of the east says, and I quote, Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> so the knight goes, to his, goes back to his vanguard, forms his shield wall, 
John and his friend formed their shield wall. <laughs> and John dies the death of the impertinent. <laughs> then the East forms up their ranks, proceeds down the road, and engages in battle with the middle. And the fortunes, and war, fortunes of war wax and wane as they want to do. And the East discovers that they are starting to gain the upper hand. And as the East is about to capture the flag of the Midrealm, the gun goes off. And members of the Eastern Army are heard to say, if we had had five more minutes, yeah. <laughs> we could have won this battle. <clears throat> so it seems that the toll was paid. Now, what is the situation with the boss? Well, the following year, it seems that the king of the East did not want to have this same problem. <laughs> so prior to Penzik, he presented the king of the East with a beautiful, ornate box, within which was 100 silver quarters, with the note, Toll for the Mid-Realm Toll Plaza, paid in full. Now, there are several versions of this that go around, including one that is actually told by John. Mine is better. Because I don't burden myself with facts. Though I know that this is mostly a true story. 